watch these two men in Iraq. They have no idea they're being hunted by a deadly UAV. It is following their every move, even recording them fire their weapons. They have no idea their insurgent activities have been spotted, and no idea the UAV operator thousands of miles away is about to fire a missile at them. It's what makes UAVs or drones a must-have for the US military. The real advantage of unmanned aerial systems is they allow you to project power without projecting vulnerability. This is Creech Air Force Base, where drone pilots remotely fly missions over Iraq and Afghanistan. These pilots saw a surge in mission requests from frontline commanders after weapons were first installed on drones. When we put Hellfire missiles on the Predator, now you've got these airplanes that are capable not only of providing uh, the pictures, the full motion video that you need, but now they're also capable of taking out targets where there may not be any other assets available. An estimated 40 or more countries, including China, Russia and Pakistan, are also developing drones. Even Hezbollah, the Lebanese-based political party and paramilitary group, has used them against Israel. No one feels the urgency of staying ahead of the competition more than the personnel at Creech Air Force Base. Right now, we're hanging on to everybody in this system. If we mobilize the Air National Guard, mobilize reservists. If you are assigned to Creech right now, we don't allow you to move out. Already, commanders are considering ways to cut out pilots altogether. We're looking at a future where we can program unmanned aerial vehicles to operate autonomously and within groups among themselves. With weapons? Uh, with weapons or without weapons. Unimaginable a few years ago, new weapons appear destined to work with less and less human input. There's nothing that is a technologic uh, barrier to using armed autonomous systems. And there's, we think about it as a never, ever, ever thing, and yet, it's not the technology that's holding us back. It's trying to figure out the applications of it. Unmanned technology is here to stay. Wars will never be the same again. If ever there's a moment to borrow a line from a science fiction movie, now is it. Mankind is boldly and irreversibly going where man has never been before, towards an uncharted era of warfare. Nick Robertson's CNN, Creech Air Force Base, Nevada.